Welcome to at least two minutes YouTube channel or known as A2M. Have you ever wondered when you're doing the same thing over and over again and you're like, I'm tired of doing this every day. I wish I could do this in my sleep. Don't worry, I can help you. Just show me how to do it and I'll do it whenever you want me to. So today's topic is RPA, Robotic Process Automation. Maybe now you're thinking, what's an RPA? Based on Aguirre and Rodriguez, RPA is a software that are used to automate rule-based business processes such as repetitive tasks, structured data, and deterministic outcomes. According to Fung, recommended business processes for RPA are low cognitive requirements, high volume, access to multiple system, limited expectation handling, and tasks that are prone to human error. Here are some examples of RPA software. One of them are Automation Anywhere, UiPath, and Pega Platform. One of the things that RPA could automate is customer services. According to Signity Solution, a European IT service provider had to handle approximately 15,000 calls a month. This was due to the complexity of the system and an executive had to spend an average of 6 minutes as the system was not efficient and it was slow. This led to poor customer services. Hmm, you might be thinking, how did RPA help this situation? RPA was able to complete the task less than 50 seconds, which is equivalent of 83% of time reduction. This was done by a virtual workforce team that the company made. Another example is RPA could help global retail corporation to arrange the stock KP units, or known as SKU, data from multiple market. For an example, a computer company would like to know their share market in Malaysia. The robot could pull a few data here and there, then convert them into a chart format. From here, the company is able to determine which SKU are the most and least popular in Malaysia. So, what are the pros and cons of RPA? The pros are, it improves compliance, it's non-invasive compatibility, increased management, and enhanced customer's experience. However, the cons are, it is employee resistance, it is process selection, a lot of managing expectation, and navigating through the obstacles. In conclusion, RPA is a software that allows anyone to configure a robot to emulate and integrate the action of a human with a digital system to conduct a business process. So, do you think humans will be replaced by robots? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and give us a thumbs up.